plastic waste has been a problem for quite some time now. The problem stems from the fact that plastic isn't very biodegradable. It can take up to a hundred years for plastic to break down, and until then, more of it gets piled up in landfills. At first, plastic was an important part of everyday life due to its convenience. But today, it's become a threat to the climate. Polyethylene terephthalate, or PET for short, has the following chemical formula, C10H8O4. And as the prefix poly suggests, many structures like the one shown are connected to form PET. PET is one of the most common forms of plastic. Crystallized PET can be used for harder materials such as plastic containers. While it is possible to recycle this plastic and remold it into new forms of plastic, the quality will go down. While there can be other forms of plastic, PET is the one that is taking up the most space in landfills. And since recycling it will lead to lower quality PET, companies decided that it's better to just manufacture new plastic altogether, which contributes to the problem even more. The biggest issue here is that plastic takes too long to decompose. The bonds in PET are not easily broken by many natural chemicals. While they sit there, they disturb the natural flow of our ecosystems. Plastics in marine habitats have killed any organism that may have consumed it, such as fish or turtles. Plastics that find themselves wrapped around certain animals can strangle them or even prevent them from having any more food. The issue of plastic waste is of even more importance in communities of developing countries which may not even have a garbage collection system. As a result, they have no choice but to throw their waste wherever they can. The garbage then builds up over time and can lead to creating a toxic environment in the same area that people live in. And most of this garbage could be recyclable plastic. People have tried incinerating plastic, but that will only release more toxic products into the environment. Despite all of this information about plastic waste, there is one very unique solution. Scientists have discovered a special enzyme known as PETase, short for PET hydrolase, which can help break down plastic. The intriguing aspect about this is that the PETase is produced by a bacteria discovered in Japan in 2016 called Idionella sicaensis, and it was discovered breaking down the PET. As mentioned before, one of the reasons plastic is hard to get rid of is that it's mostly chemically inert. It can't form many reactions with other substances. While exposure to the elements may help break the plastic into smaller pieces, it doesn't actually separate the bonds within the plastic. Most chemical reactions won't work because they'd leave the structure of PET unbalanced. In fact, this is the very reason plastic is so widely used. It can store any substance without risking a reaction that could damage the container. The enzyme PETase, along with another enzyme known as METase, can break down PET into its basic ingredients by hydrolyzing it. Pedase and medase act as a sort of one-two combo when it comes to dealing with these plastics. Pedase will take the plastic and break it down into MHET, or mono 2 hydroxyethyl terephthalate. Then the medase will break that down further into terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol. Terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol are the basic building blocks of PET. With these products, one can manufacture more PET, meaning PETase and METase are able to completely recycle PET in a way that it can be manufactured and used again without risking its quality. However, one downside is, these enzymes aren't currently in use, at least not at a large scale. Scientists are still working on genetically engineering the enzymes and bacteria to work faster in their consumption of plastics. But when this does become a possible solution, 
It will allow us to recycle PET in a way that doesn't reduce its quality. This solution allows us to continue being able to reap the benefits of plastic while also dealing with the major pollution that it can cause. In order for this method to move forward, companies will have to step up in allowing research into PEDES and MEDES to continue. They'd also have to look into how this factors into the economy. And that's where Carbios comes in. Carbios is a French company that plans on using these enzymes to make PET fully recyclable. In fact, their slogan is Enzymes Powering the Circular Economy. In this case, circular economy refers to the fact that the enzyme will make PET fully recyclable and reusable. In 2020, they managed to create PET bottles out of textile waste, and they're working with companies like Pepsi and L'Oreal to achieve this goal of circular plastic economy. With such partners by their side, Carbios could help push the importance of using PEDES and MEDES to create fully recyclable plastic that can help save the environment. To make things even better, they've actually made progress in their mission. They held a demonstration in which they took two metric tons of PET and broke them down into their monomers in just hours. Their technology can actually follow through with their goals. Another thing to keep in mind, however, is that they'll need a way to make sure they can have enough funding to continue these experiments and projects. According to their business development plan, Carbios will have two methods of making their profits that play into the strategy of cleaning up plastic pollution. Firstly, there's licensing of recycling technology, meaning other companies will gain the rights to manufacture and sell these technologies while having to pay a royalty to Carbios. Secondly, they will be gaining some recurring revenue through the sale of enzymes, which simply means they'll sell some of the enzymes that they produce. To conclude, there were many obstacles preventing proper recycling of plastics. The fact that they lose quality when traditionally recycled means that it would be easier and cheaper to just manufacture more of it. But the use of enzymes made by bacteria can break down the plastic into its core ingredients, allowing it to be made again at its original quality. This means plastic can become fully recyclable in the future, allowing us the opportunity to worry less about the large piles of it that occupy landfills and pollute waters. And with companies like Carbios leading research into PEDES and MEDES, while also having the goal of keeping the economy on track, we can expect to see more improvements in how plastic is dealt with in our future.